calculate the formal charge for each atom in SF4, we'll start with the correct Lewis structure. So here we have our SF4 molecule, and we've used all our valence electrons. And I want you to note that we have a pair of electrons here, extra pair, on the central sulfur. So sulfur has 10 valence electrons. That's more than an octet. But because sulfur is in period three, it can have an expanded octet. So it can have 10 valence electrons. And we're going to calculate the formal charges for this molecule here to make sure that this is the best Lewis structure. So let's start out by calculating the formal charge for the fluorine atom here. Fluorine is in group 17, also called 7A. It has seven valence electrons. Unbonded valence electrons, these are the electrons that aren't involved in a chemical bond. We have two, four, six. So we have six unbonded and then one half of the bonded valence electrons. We have the two here. This line represents a pair of valence electrons. So we have two and seven minus six is one, one minus one, that's zero. So the formal charge on this fluorine right here is zero. And because each of these fluorines are the same, they're also zero. So you could write zeros in for those as well. Let's do this sulfur with the extra pair of electrons. So sulfur is in group 16, also called 6A, so six valence electrons. And then unbonded, that's these two right here. So we have those two subtracting from those the bonded valence electrons, one half of them. So let's take half of two, four, six, eight. And we have six minus two is four, four minus four is zero. So the formal charge on this sulfur is zero as well. So because these formal charges are all zero, this is the most favorable or most likely Lewis structure for SF4. So this is Dr. B with the formal charges for SF4, and thanks for watching.